So this is the Oil Academy help desk, okay? So in here we've got FAQ, so frequently asked questions. <clears throat> so everything is people have been asking for the past few months, I've been putting them in here. Um, you can have answers, um, very detailed answers, either with a video or with a screenshot. Um, then, then you can also, uh, I actually am logged in, so let me log out here. Um, if you were me, you can have a submit a request. So this is a ticket. So if you have a question and you need help um, specifically, I will be answering that. Um, and so you just submit that ticket and I'll get on that as soon as possible. So that's really great. So you guys are not in the dark. You're not left alone um, uh, to do all that stuff. So let's go ahead and look at the inside of a dashboard. So this is me logged in as a, um, as a Oil Academy um, class owner. Okay, so the very first thing you're gonna see is the dashboard and you're gonna see video training, okay? So this is an on, this is a growing, um, source of videos video training that i do so for you guys and um <clears throat> you know there's the video here called basically dashboard intro and uh, it tells you about the dashboard and what there is and all this all the good stuff um there's one called starting and building a course there's one called um building the class that goes with the course and all that great stuff so you can see all that stuff and it's it's growing it's as as people ask questions as i come up with ideas um, for things that you might need to know, I'm putting these videos in there. So um, it's all there. And then also too, as a part of the Oil Academy, you are put into our um, Facebook um, private Facebook group where the community is um, growing and answering questions and I'm in there answering questions. And it is huge, um, a great way to, to, um, to get your questions answered and get new ideas too. So you can see that. Um, we've got the marketing videos. I talked a little bit about that. So we've got um, the 10, um, 10 marketing videos and you'll see them all right here. So um, they're downloadable and um, let's see my uh, internet is frozen. Awesome. There we go. Um, they're downloadable and you can also grab the link from YouTube if you just want to embed them. But you can download these videos and keep them for yourself. And you can see it, frankincense and lavender and lemon and pan away, peppermint, purification. Oh, it's so awesome. I didn't know you guys had that. Yeah. yeah. So I built, actually, Kelly, I built those. I built those right after we got back from um, the cruise. And wow. I knew, yeah. So, it's, um, yeah, I guess Christina and some other girls spent some time with the lawyer figuring out what was um, FDA compliant because I knew I wanted to build these. And anyway, so those are in there. All wow. right. Yeah, very cool. Thank you. Um, Thank yep, you. and there's a link straight to the the help desk, so you always know where that is. And then also there's a link to um, the Social Oil Academy, which is completely different. I'm not even going to go much into that, but that that helps you with social media um, uh, setup and marketing and all that kind of stuff that's on there. So it's fifty percent off there. And then also to what I mentioned earlier is our drag and drop graphic designer. Um, this is a tool. Um, this is basically um, Photoshop. Um, and I'm not, well, it's a, it's a drag and drop designer. There's, there's graphics in there. You can pull in your own graphics. You can write on text, uh, or you can write on pictures. You can do borders and all that kind of stuff. But if you don't want to use, if you want to do something really quick and you do something easy than easier than Photoshop, you just click there, you log in and you have this really cool graphic designer. Cause I know cause people need to, to create graphics and that's, we need that. So all that stuff is right there in the dashboard for you guys, ready to go. Um, the graphic and, designer tool yeah. that we can use that's already built in. Yep, it's already um, built in. And, and then too, can you mention um, yeah. if for the people who are on Facebook, that mm -hmm. the Facebook support group too? Because like the people yeah. who are members of the Oil Academy, we're in a Facebook group and we can all share ideas with each other right. too, right? Right. Yep. Yep. That's what, yeah, there's a link right there to that. And, um, so that, uh, we had, we, yeah, the private Facebook group, there's yeah. a link right there. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that, that way that you, you always know where it's at. You always have a link to it. It's right there. Um, and you know, just when you're a member, you just go and ask to join and we'll add you and it's super, super helpful. Yeah. Um, okay. So, so let's go, let's do this. Um, we got like 10 minutes and what I'm going to do guys, is we're going to build a quick class or a course and uh, with some topics and classes underneath of it really quick. I'm going to show you how easy it is. So, um, so once you're in your dashboard, okay, you're just going to go, um, you have, a, well, I'll just show it here. You have your site help and you have your media, your media is like your pictures and 
um, videos you might upload. Your pages are your single oil pages that you might be building, your landing pages. You have your comments, so when people start commenting, you can like, um, you know, moderate those and delete those and do whatever you wanna do. And then you have your online classes and you have your online courses. So your course is your main course. Your course is the main page where everything sits underneath of it and your classes are your topics underneath of it. So the course is the big one, the classes are the little ones that are underneath of it. And then you have your profile where you can, you're just your admin, profile it's nothing um, you can change that if you want if you want a fancy picture there go for it um, so an online course so we're gonna start this so I'm gonna add a new one so this you just go in here I have one there but I want to add a brand new one so we can check this out all right so we go in here hit the add button and we're gonna call this Tim's awesome oil class mm last okay so once that once that's good you're good to go um, if you're not familiar okay this is gonna be a funny word for some of you who are not familiar with this but this is called a uh, a WYSIWYG editor so it's what you see is what you get editor so that's what a WYSIWYG is but um, you can do a lot of things here so this is just like just like word all right this is just where you're typing you can you know you can type you can you can bold stuff you can do all that stuff you have all these options right here you know just like word document whatever um, this is something right here. You can add a recipe card, which is really sweet. Um, that's an option that I added when we first launched. Um, so people, some people wanted some <clears throat> recipe cards, so I added that option. It's really cool. You can make it look like a recipe card. It's printable and all that great stuff. You can add media. So if I wanted to add a picture, all right, you can click on the add media. I already have some stuff uploaded, but if you don't have any in your in your library, you can just upload pictures from your computer right here. So um, that's what you can do. Um, and then what else can you do here? You can add a contact form, which is really cool. All right, you have the ability to just add a contact form. If you just want someone to like, you know, email you, you just build this contact form and then you can say they can email you. Oops, we're just gonna cancel that because we're not gonna put that in there. But I have some text that I'm just gonna put in here from earlier because I don't really want to write all this out. So um, there, there's some text. And like I said, guys, you can go, you can go, um, you know, you can, bold some stuff you can change it colors you can add a picture in here and that's actually what we're gonna do we're gonna add a picture at the bottom here um i like put a picture this. of christina in there because she put <laughs> her darn face and i want <laughs> i want my team to see her i know she, i don't know where she is she's she's doing something um but look so when you when you yeah when you add a picture you can you can resize it okay that's really cool now um, what we're like I said, what we're building is we're building that course page. Okay, so um, you can actually um, another thing I want to show you guys is if you want to make it a clickable link. So if you say um, uh, I don't know, rental homes. I don't even. This text is from somebody else's class that I just copied. So I'm sorry for watching this. Um, so if I want to make that clickable, like a link, okay, you just yeah. highlight it like this, and you just go up here, just like Word. And you paste in your your HTTP, you know, your URL, and you can make it open in a new window if you want. I'm not even gonna make that clickable because I don't want to. Um, now, here's the key. There's a picture for every one of these. Um, there's a picture for your classes and a picture for your course, and it does not go here. However, it does go over here. This is called a featured image spot, and so we're gonna put up a featured image. Um, I'm gonna pick this fancy uh, fancy one here. We're going to upload that um, to that spot. Let me know. I'm going to show you what that does. Okay. So you can see it sitting down there. That's all good. I think I like the way this looks. Um, I could put in like a disclaimer here saying, you know, I'm not a doctor, all that kind of stuff. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, you always want to make sure that you publish it. So let's go ahead and publish it. Now the whole world can see my Tim's Awesome Oil class. All right. And uh, what we're going to do here is I'm going to open this up in a new window. And I want to show you what this what this looks like right now without built without anything underneath of it. Meaning there's no topics. There's this is just the bare bones. Okay. So hey, look, there's my picture. There's the title, Tim's Awesome Oil Class. There's all that text I did. And look, there's that the one that I put in up in bold. And there's that digest picture that I uploaded. Super easy. But like that class I showed you guys before, there's nothing underneath of it. So right now we're gonna go back. Okay, now that we have this saved, we're gonna go back and we're gonna start, we're gonna do an online class. Okay, these are actually classes for the course. 
<clears throat> and um, we're going to create one. And uh, let's create a brand new one. So let's add a new one. And we're going to do uh, first topic. I'm not even going to try to think of something. Um, and then we're, oh, I guess I already have that written. So let's, let's just grab this, this text here. I'm going to paste it. Mm. Come on there. I'm going to paste it in there. And I'm going to put another picture in here because I think it's cool. Um, we'll use this peppermint one the bottom and we're gonna put in we got to make sure that we do two things when we create this we want to make sure that it's underneath the right course um, because right now I've got two courses you saw you guys saw them oil oils 101 for Tim and then Tim's awesome oil class so we want this class to go under Tim's awesome oil class but we also need to make sure that we put a picture with it because we need to, we want to make sure that it looks cool um, so we're going to pick this, this one really, this one right here and it's going to populate that and we can see that it's sitting there. Okay. So remember guys, um, we've got this here, the topic, we've got the, all the writing that we can do in there. We can add more pictures. We can add videos like Kelly said, um, um, just by embedding the YouTube videos. Um, or if you upload videos, you can embed those as well. I have all, videos all about that as you can see. And then we are going to publish this. And I'll show you the, the magic that happens. Um, so I'm just publishing this, right? So this this actually creates its own self page. But if you remember over here on the Tim's Awesome Oil class, we didn't have anything down here. So as soon as I let me refresh this page, let me refresh my course here. And voila, there it is. All right. So it, it puts it in the right order. Okay, and you can actually go back and order these if you if they get all if they get out of order and you want to move things. And I have a video of showing you how to do how to order your classes. But look, it takes the um, the 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 name the topic that you put in, and it takes that picture, and it's clickable. The picture is clickable and automatically gives you a click here link. Okay, you don't even have to put this in there; it's already there. All right, so when you click on that link, it's going to take you to that class. Look, there's the picture we uploaded. Look, there's the title. There's the text that we added. And there's the picture. And then there's the comments already added. You don't have to do anything. They're already in there. And the back to home page is already put in there. So so your your um, attendees won't get lost. Your attendees can can always say, Well, I'm gonna I'm done reading this. Let me go back to the home page. And there it is. So that's th those are steps you don't even have to worry about because they're already put in there. Um, like this click here back to home they're already put in there your classes are automatically put underneath of your course in the order that you that you want them to go and um and that's it you guys so when you're ready to do a second a second class that goes underneath this course you just go into your classes and you say add new <clears throat> and i'm just going to do it because i want you guys to see it, how easy this is so i'm going to put topic two this is very generic so i don't name these this way um Topic two, we'll pick a picture just because, uh, oh, no items found. Huh? Let's, let's see here. Let's try again. We'll pick, uh, well, I like that one. We'll add that one. <clears throat> now, um, one, let me just show you a really quick thing. You guys probably won't remember this, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. Um, <laughs> this is all about the SEO. So SEO is search engine optimization. So this is making things uh, so that Google will like it. Okay. So when you're uploading pictures, you can go over here and give this thing a title, um, and you can give it an alt text. So you want to. So when you're uploading pictures, if you remember this, every single time you want to give it a title, like um, you know, oils 101 or whatever you want to name it. So give it a title and give it an alt text because the alt text is actually what um, the Google spiders. I like to call them. We'll look at when they see a picture because they actually they don't actually see pictures. They only see text <clears throat> and numbers and crap. So they don't see pictures. They only see text. So they they know that oh wow now I know that this page is an oil one on one page because this picture says it is. Anyway, that's that's some in depth um, <laughs> SEO stuff for you. So let's publish this, okay? And uh, 
wait a second and I'm going to refresh this page and oh you know what we got forgot to do you guys didn't tell me we got to pick our class see how we see how it, you mess up sometimes so Tim's awesome oil class update it <clears throat> come on internet look there's our topic too look how nice that looks okay so it sits right next to it um, Holly wants to know if we can still do a live class and then just save it. I'm not sure if I understand. A lot of times the live feeling is because of the comments happening, right? Am I right? I mean, because when you right. when you do a, yeah, when you do a, a class on Facebook, um, right. it, it's live because people are there, they're commenting. And when you do a class on the oil Academy for the first time, yeah, that's going to happen. All your comments are going to be happening. People are going to be talking. So what you do the next month, it go in and delete your comments. Just delete okay. all your delete all your comments, and and that way you have a fresh start the next month that you're ready to go. Um, so you can your, actually run it live again. Yeah, the second, absolutely. Right? Yep, it run it live be, again. It would be pre-existing. It yep. would just be like yeah. Again, okay. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. And I mean, you can leave the comments there for a mm -hmm. social proof kind of thing if you wanted to. Um, okay. You don't have to, and you can delete the comments. You have full access to do all that kind of stuff. So, um, well, again, if you delete them, then the people mm -hmm. who are attending the class, it's going to look like it's a fresh class to them. We don't right. want them to feel like they've been recycled, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So you want to do that for sure. Okay. Um, but yeah, and and so that's that's it, you guys. That's so that's how easy it is um, to create a class. There's there's just a few steps, um, and it's basically you know going through and and having your text. Having your layout ready to go, so when you're ready to build it, that you know you can you can throw it in there. And um, you know, a lot of people ask me like, "Well, I want a template, and I want this, and I want that." Well, like, this is what this is. This is a template. You're putting your information in, and it's in this template, and it's spinning it out um, right here. Um, Hallie wants to know if they want to order their kit. Do we yep. tell them just to contact the person who added them, or can we add individual business folks in yep. there? How sure. would we handle that? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I've seen it done in different ways. Like, um, you can you can strip if you have a team that's doing a class. Like, you have ten people doing the class that night. You can say, um, contact the person that invited you. Um, you can have a page at the end that has all the um, links to the okay, sign up. I have a picture of myself, yeah. and it'll say like, click here to order from yep. Kelly. Click here to order from Holly, or to get in touch with yes. Holly, or to get in touch with Nancy, or whatever. Yes. And, they can just click on their person who added them. Absolutely. And I would put that at the end of your class or, you know, or wherever you want to put that. I, I always see that, you know, at the end where people can order when they're done. Uh, but absolutely. I mean, if you have more than one person, you want to get, you know, you want to make sure the credits do or the credits do, but way better than a Facebook situation. Can you imagine being able to send someone to a, just a page where they have like, like you said, Kelly, awesome idea, like the pictures and a way to contact them or, and a way for them, a, a straight up, Here's my link to Young Living Buy My Kit thing. And, <laughs> okay. uh